Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Excel, you can cut or copy data from cells and then paste the data into other cells. Cells that contain numeric or text entries can be moved wherever you want. The only trick is when you need to cut or copy cells that contain formulas. When you copy and paste formulas to a new location in your workbook, the formula automatically adjusts its cell references to fit its new location. For example, if you typed a formula into cell H5 that added cells C5 through G5, and then copied and pasted the formula from cell H5 into cell H6, the newly copied formula would change its cell references to add cells C6 through G6. This is an example of relative referencing. This is the default cell referencing that occurs when copying formulas. Formulas that are copied and pasted will automatically adjust their cell references to fit their new location. However, when you cut and paste a formula in Excel, the formula will still maintain its reference to its original cells regardless of where you paste it. Therefore, the answer will not change because it will still refer to its original cell range. This is an example of absolute referencing. When you cut and paste formulas, they will still refer to their original cells even from their new location. Both types of referencing can be very useful to you depending on the type of worksheet you are trying to create. However, when creating a single formula that contains multiple cell references, the need may arise to allow some of the references within the formula to be relative references, while others will need to be absolute references. In this case, it is useful to realize that you can change any cell reference in a formula into an absolute reference by simply placing a dollar sign in front of both the column letter and the row number in the cell reference. This is handy when you have a formula that contains a cell reference that you don't want to change when you copy the formula to a new location in the workbook. For example, assume that you wanted to copy a formula that adds together the five cells to its left and then multiplies that result by the value stored in cell A1. If you create the reference to cell A1 as an absolute reference, meaning dollar sign $A$ dollar sign $1 within the formula, then when you copy and paste the formula to a new location in the workbook, it will add whatever five cells appear to its left and then multiply that result by the value in cell A1 no matter where you paste the copy. You can edit a formula you have already created to change the cell referencing used in the formula. To do this, you can double-click the formula to edit it. Then select the cell reference in the actual formula, not the cell, that you want to change into an absolute reference. Press the F4 key on your keyboard to toggle the cell reference between the three types of cell referencing available. Mixed, meaning it's part absolute and part relative. Absolute or relative. For example, you could toggle a reference to cell A1 between A1, which is relative, or dollar sign A, dollar sign 1, which is absolute, or A, dollar sign 1, which is mixed, or dollar sign A, dollar sign 1, each time you press the F4 key. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.